Ms. Caliendo here to explain your virtual learning assignments for Friday, January 29th. Today you are going to be completing session three in your digital notebook on slides six and seven. And your digital notebook can be found in Google Classroom as always. You will start by watching your mini lesson video which is going to be linked here. Once you have finished watching your mini lesson video or as you watch your mini lesson video, you are going to be completing the following two boxes in terms of our main character in Raymond's run, Squeaky. The first question that I want you to answer is what does Squeaky really want? And our teacher Mandy is going to talk about this in the mini lesson video. But what does Squeaky really want? And I want you to jot your thoughts in the box. And I want you to list three or more things you think Squeaky wants, okay? And these aren't necessarily going to be explicitly stated in the story. You kind of have to do some deep thinking and digging to figure out what you think she might want. Then once you finish listing those three ideas, you are going to write a paragraph elaborating on those ideas that you came up with or maybe pick one and write a paragraph about it or why you think that. And that's going to start to help us think a little bit deeper about Squeaky as a character. And all of this work is preparing us to develop a claim about Squeaky. Once you have finished both of those boxes and watching your mini lesson video, you're going to dive into your independent work time. Today you are going to again revisit your assigned short story. So they, your document's linked here for you for easy access. And you are going to consider those same questions. What does my character really want? What is their motivation? And you can use the thought prompts that are here to help you kind of explain your thinking. Okay, they're linked or shown in this table here. And today you're going to be writing long. You're going to be writing two to three paragraphs. So six to ten sentences explaining your thinking. Okay, and I want you to think, what does your character really want? And again, you're going to have to dive deep. It's not going to be stated in the story. you got to think deeper and dig deeper to figure out what you think they want, what's motivating them. Okay, and in the box where it says your thinking is where you are going to share your ideas with me. Okay, and again, writing two to three paragraphs. We're writing a little bit longer. And the purpose of our work today, boys and girls, is continuing to work towards developing a claim. We have to think deeply about our characters in order for us to come up with a claim that our literary, literary essay is going to be all about. Okay? So make sure you're really taking the time to think deeply, write long, two to three paragraphs about your character. This is going to set you up to be successful in session number four when we start to create our claim statement. All right, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please let me know via email, and good luck.